see what happens here. Oh, coffee. It's not really coffee, it's tea. I don't actually drink coffee. Well, not a lot, I mean, every once in a while. I actually drink uh, hot chocolate, it's my favorite. But my wife makes tea, she's in the kitchen right now, so if you hear some stuff, that means that she's working there in the kitchen. Uh, Venezuela. That's what we're talking about today. Venezuela. Well, now, just a little bit, because I want to get to Tulsa Gar Tulsa uh, Garrett. But let's do the, the Venezuela. Let's start this here. Okay, in here, someplace. Oh, here we go. If I can get into here. Venezuela, Bolivaria, People and the Struggle of the Fourth World War. The Fourth World War. Hmm. This was a documentary uh, done by Venezuelan um, um, activist people in Venezuela. This is many years ago. She went to five, six years ago. Uh, you know, our guy, Hugo Chavez, was still in the... Um, uh, was still in, in presidency then before you know he could, you know he, he passed. Uh, so right now there's another president there. But I was I was reading something online because uh, you know Venezuela just got the most oil reserves in the world. It's not a fascinating fact, you know. Every continent's got something, you know. Anyway, they got a lot of other stuff, gold, diamonds, they get stuff. Uh, but here's a, a, a statement um, sent out by the African Union. Deputy Chairperson of the African Union, uh, Thomas Kwesi Kwatli, uh, uh, Quat, um, Quat, Quati, um, Q U A R T E Y, Quati, has sent a message of solidarity with the people of Venezuela and the support of uh, for Constitutional President Nicolas Maduro. The ministry wrote on a Twitter on Wednesday. This this is like maybe a week ago or, or something like that. So last Wednesday, maybe even before then. Um, there it is. Uh, lately, United States, or not United States, uh, forced the United States, led by the President of the United States, um, uh, led by the President of the United States, but um, uh, joined by uh, you know those those forces that like to take oil and resources from other continents, uh, along with the, the, the entire establishment or the, what they call the corporate news media. You know, we were talking about the uh, MSNBCs, Microsoft, NBC, NBC which is the parent company of Microsoft NBC, uh, you know, CNN, uh, Cable News Network, that I, I guess Ted Turner must be saying, like, you know, y'all boys, y'all just... Anyway, anyway. Uh, um, who else? I guess it's Fox and whatever. They all are rooting for war. As usual, why is America like war all of a sudden? But here's the, the funny thing. Uh, uh, the the, the so-called the so left, on a, I'm not talking about progressives, I'm talking about the left, you know what I mean? They used to be like if you mentioned CIA or war, they were always against it. Now they're they're waving the flag for for meddling in somebody another country's lesson. They, they basically took some cat that went to Georgetown University that was Venezuelan and they made him president. And when I say they, I mean I, uh, in, a, in a tweet. I, I don't do Twitter, so I don't, I don't follow these things. But in the tweet, you know, um, they say, "Hey, here's the president," and they they gave you the president. It's a strange kind of thing, but I'm glad the African Union is against this, along with, uh, I know Russia's against it, uh, um, uh, um, China is against it, Iran is against it. Um, I think there's one country in the European Union uh, that the, the scuttle of the European Union vote, uh, that was the European Union is trying to be for it, but I think it was uh, Italy, something like that. They said, no, 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 no. So because the European Union way is structured, you know, they, they, they can't go for it. They can't, they, they're not sending measures of solidarity, but they're not going for it. At least uh, the African Union sent measures of solidarity. But that's not what I'm going to get to. That was another, here's my, here's my get out of town bag down there. Close to me, it has certain documents that I need if something happens, I got to run real quick. But I want to show you this. Uh, there is a document in here. Uh, and, uh, anyway, uh, I'm a veteran. See, here's my latest VA card. I gotta go to the states pretty soon and see if they have to update these VA cards. See, I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran. This is uh, from the uh, well, Veterans Administration because I have a disability. <sighs> I can't get into it right now, but it's a disability. So I say I'm a veteran. Now this is this is interesting because one time I was at the BAI, WBAI Radio New York. We had we always have these meetings. One time we have. To, Group of people there, and uh, they were saying something. I said, I want to speak 
as a, as a, as a minority. You know, it's cool. Everybody looked at me, oh, you're black. You're already speaking as a minority. I said, no, I'm a veteran. I'm only one of two people in this room that's a veteran. At the time, there was another captain, certain of Vietnam. And uh, then I said something like that. So you never can tell who, who somebody is unless they say who they are. You know, if I don't, if I, if at this particular moment I'm, I'm identifying as a veteran, but here's my, as a veteran, here's what I'm saying, a veteran of, 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 the, of uh, Vietnam era. Here's what I'm saying. There's a thing in, uh, came about World War I, I believe, it's called uh, the, the trench. You know, you was in the trench, sometimes they call it a foxhole now, but it's, it's, it's a trench. You know, the trench, you have people on this line, you have some land, and then you have people on the other side, and they're sticking their head up, and, you know. Bombs are falling, all the rest of that stuff. So there was a saying that came up, who would you want to be in a trench with? Who would you want to be in a foxhole with? Now, you have to choose. Do you want to be in a foxhole with the likes of, uh, say, uh, I don't know. Let's, let's just deal with the Democratic the people that, that are announced for the Democratic presidency. You know, Tulsa, uh, Tulsa Gabbard, I'm talking about the major ones. Uh, uh, Kamala Harris, is, was she calling her uh, Camilla? Kamala Harris, um, uh, Cory Booker just said something, uh, Elizabeth Warren, um, uh, there's some other people. I guess, uh, uh, let's just do those because I had a thing on my phone. They had a, they had a, a thing with the, uh, uh, that I saw and they had a poll. They was doing a poll, right? And this poll basically was saying um, something like, uh, uh, who, who, who you, who, it's, it's an early poll because, you know, nobody's, uh, People do not, not put up, some people put up policy positions. It's, they're talking policy, like Tulsa Gabbard is talking policy. But a lot of people are not talking policy at all. Uh, and, 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 and out of the people that they, they picked uh, for this poll, uh, if you want to call it that, it's just, I'm, I'm stalling right now because I'm trying to find it on my, on my phone because uh, they give the results after your little, your little, your little vote, they give you the results. And um, you also notice that they always attack. I don't know what the deal is, but the people that they get to talk against uh, the uh, 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 against the forces of righteousness, you know, the people that say, "Hey, leave this government alone." They they elected their president. Why are you trying to install somebody like that? They really get against it. They use these think tanks. These think tanks are usually populated or or, or proposed by you know right wing kind of zealots or people that used to work for the, the intelligence community or something like that. What they call the intelligence community, but you know the spy community they always gives you uh, wrong or or misinformation. Well, they, they well, they basically uh, keep on with the, with the news media, they, the, the corporate news media, they keep on giving you this this unfactual, you know what I mean, these distorted, this, this what we call enigma, a lie, with a lie surrounded by a truth, surrounded by a truth, surrounded by a truth, with another lie, you know, they, they, they're giving you all that. I can't find this thing on my phone, so I'm not going to waste more time because I don't want to make this a long one. But I wanted to say this. You have to see who you're going to be in foxhole with. You're going to foxhole with them or you're going to be in foxhole with, say, a real veteran, somebody who served in, in, in the military. Out of all these people that, that, that's running, you know, be it your, your Kamala Harris or Cory Booker's or your Elizabeth Warren or whoever else is out there, whoever else is declared, uh, well, she's the only one that has not only is a veteran, but is speaking and saying that we don't need these wars. Stop doing these wars. Stop doing these interventionist wars. And the most of the people who said they want the war, they, they've never been in war. They've never been in the service. They never took an oath to, 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 to defend the country. You know, if, in, well, they took an oath as a congressperson, but when you take an oath as a soldier, that's a kind of a different kind of oath. You know what I'm saying? It's a different kind of oath. So you may not be serious as a congressperson, but when you're going to pick up a rifle or, or, or well, I, like Telsey Gabbard, I was a medic, so, you know, we, well, we had rifles and stuff like that, guns up in the I know, actually, the Air Force, we never, we never, I never had any training after, after basic training. I never had any guns after that. Anyway, the point is, um, if you ask a veteran something, that's different than you ask these people, these chicken hawks, or these people never serve, that's something else, okay? So, uh, uh, so this, uh, so right now, I'm, I'm with Tulsa Gabbard, because she said stuff, you know, it's people who was running, she says, that, who declared that they're running, she says stuff that I agree with, you know what I mean? The people talking about a ticket of uh, Tulsa Gabbard and then Bernie Sanders as the vice president, I go for that ticket. Uh, right off the bat right now, but let me wait for the season to keep on going and see what people are saying, because, you know, hey, well, let's see what their policy is, what they're saying. That's all I'm saying. Me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>